Let's talk about setting up customers. To set up customers, come here to the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Customers, Prospects. You'll use this window for both companies and individuals to whom you sell goods or services. You can also use this window for companies and individuals to whom you would like to sell goods and services. These would be considered prospects. Now let's cover some things that are on this window. Across the top here, these are called your toolbar buttons. Within the toolbar buttons, you have the close choice. This closes the window without saving any changes you've made. But don't worry, if you have made changes and click on this button, Peachtree will prompt you and warn you that you're going to lose the changes and ask you if you want to save the changes that you made. To close this window, you may also click up here on this X. The Save button saves any changes that you've made. The Delete button will delete a customer record. Let's look at this. Let's pull up a customer. If we click on Delete here, Peachtree asks us, are you sure you want to delete this record? Let's click on No. This button is new with more recent versions of Peachtree, Change ID. This is a wonderful button because it allows us to change the customer ID that we've assigned to any particular customer record. Click here and it's going to show us the present customer ID and give us a field for what we want to change it to. So if we have established our customer database and we have found that we want to change the way it's listed following the customer IDs that we've set up, now we can simply come in here and change our customer IDs. Now let's look at some of the things on this window. When we set up a new customer contact, there's a minimum of three fields that we have to fill out on this screen. So if we're wanting to set up a customer quickly, we might want to just fill out these three fields. First is customer ID, second is the name, and third is over here on the sales defaults tab. We must assign them a GL sales account. Once we've done those three things, we can then save this customer record. But let's look at this in more detail. To set up this record completely, we would want to fill out all these fields. First, starting with the customer ID. This is how Peachtree lists information and references it. Click on the magnifying glass, and this column here shows customer IDs. Now you'll notice that the customer IDs resemble very closely the customer name. This is what we recommend. We do not recommend assigning a number or alphanumeric series or something like that. That simply makes it difficult to locate the customer you're looking for. Simply use a customer ID that is easy for you to recognize and reference when you want to pull up this customer. Let's cancel this window. Here you set up their name. Here contact information. So if you have a contact person there, oftentimes this is an accounts payable clerk. Down here, bill to address. Anytime you have a drop down arrow to the right of a field, then that means that you have multiple selections. Let's, choose, let's click on this drop down arrow here and you'll see. Peachtree allows us to have one bill to address and several ship to addresses up to nine. So we've set up our bill to address here. Down here we assign the sales tax code. Let's click on this magnifying glass. Here are all of our sales tax codes that we have set up. So this customer's default sales tax code will be the Gwinnett County sales tax. However, 
If we invoice them in another county, we can always change that on any particular invoice. We're going to cancel this window. Customer type. Let's talk about the customer type field. This is what we like to call a free flow field that allows you to categorize your customers in any way you choose. So in other words, we've set this customer up as customer type land. What this enables us to do is run, run reports and do a few other things based on all the customers with a customer type of land. So if we wanted to see what our revenue is for this customer type, we can run a report that says, show me all my revenue for customer type land. One important thing to note is this field is case sensitive. And so when you categorize your customers using the type field, be careful to use the same upper or lower case and the correct spelling. And of course here we have telephone, fax, email, and website information. Down here we have our beginning balances and current balance information. This is going to be covered in a later video. Let's look at the sales defaults tab. Under sales defaults, we can assign who the sales rep is for this customer. Let's click on this magnifying glass. This sales rep information, this comes from the maintain employees slash sales reps screen, which will also be covered in another video in the payroll section. Let's cancel this window. Here is our GL sales account. So we simply click on this magnifying glass and choose which default sales account this customer will be assigned to. If we have an open purchase order number from this customer, we would put that open purchase order number here. Here is our ship via drop down selection. If we have a certain ship via rules with this customer, we would assign them here. For example, if, it, if everything were FedEx. Peachtree would then prompt us whenever we prepare an invoice or shipping information that this customer wants their product shipped via FedEx. If they have a tax resale number, we would put that here. We can assign a pricing level default here. Click on the drop down arrow and you can see that we have up to 10 price levels. And then their terms. Peachtree automatically brings in the default terms that we've set up for all of our customers. However, if we want to set up different terms for this customer, we would do that here. Simply click on this box and we would uncheck standard terms. If this customer were a COD or a prepaid, we would select that here. Prepaid, and we can then assign them a credit limit. This will prompt us whenever we're preparing an invoice that this customer is on prepaid terms with us. Over on the Custom Fields tab, these are the custom fields that we set up in Customer Defaults. So we define numbers 1 through 5 in the Customer Defaults section, and then we fill out this information accordingly. Finally, over here under History, we can see a quick synopsis of this customer's account. They've been a customer since January 11th of 1999. Last invoice, last payment information, and last time a statement was sent. We will cover other methods for getting customer information in later videos. Peachtree can take you to a variety of detailed information on a customer, including invoicing and receipt information, 
things of that nature.